So today we are going to discuss the Purkinje fibers and we are going to discuss what are basically Purkinje fibers, how they work and what's their role in the transmission of electrical impulse or cardiac impulse from the AV node towards the uh, ventricular muscle. So basically we discussed that the cardiac impulse or the electrical impulse uh, for the normal cardiac contraction or the normal heart contraction is generated in the SA node. From the SA node, the electrical impulse is um, transferred uh, or um, uh, it reaches the atrioventricular node or the AV node where uh, via uh, through the internodal pathways. And this takes about 0.03 second time. Then the impulse get delayed in the atrioventricular node and then from the atrioventricular node the impulse is taken through the atrioventricular bundle and after the atrioventricular uh, bundle the AV uh, this uh, divides into the left bundle branch and right bundle branch and this take the impulse to the ventricles. So here is the heart, here is the right atrium, here is the left atrium, here is the right ventricle, here is the left ventricle. Here is the SA node. This is the SA node which has been enlarged here. This is the internodal pathway which has been enlarged here. Here is the AV node which has been enlarged here. And these are the bundle branches which are present in the interventricular septum and is taking the impulse from the AV node towards the ventricular muscle. So basically the Purkinje fibers they are present in the AV bundle branches, atrioventricular bundle. So the AV, the Purkinje fibers lead from the atrioventricular node through the AV bundle into the ventricles. So they they take the impulse from the atrioventricular node and they go through the atrioventricular uh, bundles and they reach the ventricular muscle. These fibers are basically large in size and they transmit the signal at, at about 1.5 to 4 meter per second almost 150 times 150 times the speed is about 150 times greater than that of atrioventricular fiber some of the atrioventricular fiber and transmit in one way to prevent re-entry so the Purkinje fibers they are present in the atrioventricular bundle the fibers of the Purkinje, uh, the, the Purkinje fibers they are no larger in size they have more they have more gap junctions gap junctions the cells of the Purkinje fibers two cells of the Purkinje fibers they have more gap junctions which allow rapid transmission of the electric uh, uh, electrolytes like sodium potassium calcium which leads to rapid speed and uh, their size the large size also allow for uh, rapid speed and another quality is that they transmit the signal in only one way in only one way to prevent re-entry so the electrical impulse basically generated in the SA node transferred to the AV node via inter, uh, through the inter internodal pathway from the AV node it is taken through the Purkinje fibers which are present in the AV bundle the AV bundle has two portions one is the penetrating portion which is here the penetrating portion basically it penetrates the fibers a fibrous tissue is present between the atria and ventricles signals cannot transfer signals cannot go through the fibers the signal generated in the SA node can only go to the ventricles through this AV node and the AV bundle so the AV bundle has two portions the fibrous or the penetrating part and the distal part so the atrio uh, the Purkinje fibers are present both in the fibrous the fibrous or the penetrating part and the distal uh, AV bundles then the Purkinje fibers reach the ventricular muscle endocardium via the left and right bundle branches in 0.03 second. We previously discussed that the, the impulse generated in the SA node here it takes 0.03 second to reach the AV node. The impulse get delayed in the AV node because the AV node the fibers present in the AV node they have few they have few gap junctions. They have few gap junctions. In the Purkinje fibers the cells has a lot of gap junctions which allow for the rapid transfer of electrolytes like ions like sodium potassium to, from one cell to another which leads to rapid speed of uh, impulse cardiac impulse while in the AV node the impulse is delayed about 0.09 second. Then that impulse 
get delayed a little more in the fibrous portion of the AV bundle. But once it has reached the AV bundle, the Purkinje fibers present in the distal portion of the AV bundle, they are large in size, they, they transfer or the speed of electrical impulse in this distal portion, the fibers present in the distal portion of the AV bundle are uh, transmitting the impulse at a high speed and they take only 0.03 second they take only 0.03 second to take the impulse from here from this portion towards the inner surface of the heart this red color this is basically the inner surface of the heart so we see the impulse took 0.03 second to reach here it was delayed uh, and then it took uh, 0 0.09 second a total of 0 0.12 second to reach this point this point the penetrating portion of the AV bundle then it was delayed 0 0.04 second more in the penetrating portion of the AV bundle in the penetrating portion of AV bundle then finally in about 0 0.16 second 0 0.16 second the impulse has reached from S anode to the AV bundle to the distal portion of the AV bundle now the speed in this portion is very high due to the Purkinje fibers and this uh, it will only take 0 0.03 seconds more to spread the entire impel, impulse into the entire ventricular muscles. So the ventricular muscles are present in the right ventricle and the left ventricle. From this point, from this point to uh, uh, while we have not drawn the ventricular muscle in this diagram but the, in this uh, this electrical activity or the SA node, AV node and the bundle branches has been shown here in the green color. So we see that the impulse reached in 0 0.16 second at this level but from this point to reaching the inner surface of the ventricular muscle it only took 0 0.03 second to reach the inner surface of the heart. This inner surface if we cut the, the cardiac tissue for example, this is the cardiac muscle. We have cut it like this. We have cut it like uh, this straight away. So the inner surface is the endocardium. The middle is the myocardium and the outer surface. This outer surface is the is the basically the epicardium. So the inner is the endocardium. Myocardium is the middle and outside is the epicardium. So so the impulse took from the AV bundle to the endocardium to the inner surface of the heart only 0.03 second. From the endocardium to the epicardium another 0.03 seconds are required. So from this point, from this point to the ventricular muscle, to the inside of the ventricular muscle, to the inside of the ventricular muscle 0.03 seconds are required. But the cardiac muscle is present in such a way that for this signal which has reached for this signal which has reached here from this point in 0 0.03 second for this signal to reach this level or this level or this outside level it will take more 0 0.03 second more because the electrical impulse cannot directly go this way. It cannot go directly this way. The cardiac muscle, the cardiac muscle is basically present in a spiral form. In between there is some fibrous tissue. In between which is fibrous tissue. So the impulse will take a long way, a spiral way to reach the outside. So, so 0 0.03 more second will be required for the impulse to reach from the endocardium to the epicardium, from the inside of the heart to the outside of the heart. So you see 0 0.03 plus 0 0.03 is 0 0.06 second. A total of 0 0.06 second were taken to energize or to, uh, to depolarize the whole of the ventricular muscle. While 0 0.1 second were required for the impulse to reach from the SA node to this AV bundle, 0 0.16 second were required for the impulse to reach from SA node to this point but only 0 0.06 second 0 
zero six second were required for the muscle to reach the entire muscle from the inside to the outside the whole of the muscle uh, the ventricular muscle it was because of the speed of the purkinje fiber it was because of the large size of the ventricular uh, the purkinje fiber it was because a lot of gap junctions are present in the cells of the uh, purkinje fibers then the purkinje fibers due to its high speed due to its its large size and due to its anatomy it it makes sure the purkinje fibers play a role in synchronous contraction of the ventricular muscle just within a split second it takes the impulse from this point it takes the impulse from this point to this inner surface of the heart and this outer surface of the heart so in this small amount of time in this small amount of time the purkinje fibers make sure that the whole of the ventricle ventricular muscle that of the right ventricle and that of the left ventricle they contract at the same time so that the blood pumping of the blood is very much effective if it was not for the speed of the purkinje fiber if the purkinje fibers has not so much high speed then one portion of the ventricles would contract and uh, at one time and then another portion of the ventricles would contract at another time and the pumping of the blood would not be effective to make sure that the whole of the ventricular muscle that of the left and right they contract simultaneously or their contraction is synchronous with each other this is to, with the help of the purkinje fiber and this is due to the qualities of the purkinje fibers so to summarize it the basically the sinus node the sa node it acts as the pacemaker of the heart which we have discussed in previous lecture how it acts as the pacemaker what is the mechanism why it is rhythmically and regularly generating some generating some electrical impulse this impulse generated here it get transferred to the atria directly the atrial muscle get depolarized directly and this impulse also reach the atrioventricular uh, node through the atrial muscle and special internodal pathway which has high speed once the impulse has reached the av node it get the impulse get delayed in the av node so the atria contract and the bl blood comes into the ventricle this delay in the av node it allows time for the blood to come into the ventricles once the impulse has reached the av node it gets slightly delayed due to the fibrous portion of the uh, due to some uh, fibrous uh, tissue the fibrous tissue is present between the atria and the ventricle because it makes sure that the impulse can go from the atria from the sa node into the ventricles only through this av node or the only through this av bundle impulse cannot come from the atria directly into the ventricle so here we have a, a fibrous tissue so it gets delayed 0.04 second more in the fibrous portion then from this point the impulse is taken via through the purkinje fibers into the whole of the ventricular muscle these uh, these fibers these purkinje fibers which are present in the av bundle they lead from the av node through the av bundle into the ventricles from the av node through the av bundle from the av node through the av bundle into the ventricles from the av node through the av bundle into the ventricular muscle the fibers of the purkinje uh, uh, the, the purkinje fibers which are present in the av bundle they are large in size they transmit at a high speed and they transmit only in one way they transmit only in one way because if the impulse can go in one in one way only then can the heart muscle contract synchronously and uh, in rhythm with each other if the impulse can go in this way and then come back with re entry then the cardiac contraction will not be synchronous with each other and arrhythmias will occur arrhythmias do occur there are some abnormalities which do occur in this system but we are not going to discuss those arrhythmias or those abnormalities then the purkinje fibers reach the ventricular muscle endocardium through the left and right bundle branches in 0.03 second from this part from this portion of the av bundle to the inside of the ventricular muscle it takes only 0.03 second but from the endocardium or the inner surface of the heart from the inner surface of the heart from the inner surface of the heart 
to the epicardium or outside of the heart the outside surface of the heart another 0.03 seconds are required because the cardiac muscle is present in a spiral way impulse cannot directly grow from this portion to this outside directly it go in a spiral way in a, a along the purkinje fibers which are which has penetrated deep inside the ventricular uh, muscle so it takes more 0.03 second and this purkinje fibers play a role in the synchronous contraction of the ventricular muscle due to the qualities of the purkinje fibers the cardiac contraction the contraction of the right and the left ventricle is synchronous with each other so that's all about the purkinje fibers how they take the impulse from the av node to the ventricular uh, muscle and how they make sure the one way transmission of the impulse how they prevent reentry of impulse and how they uh, make sure the synchronous contraction of the right and left ventricle thanks a lot for watching the video